Hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to put some PPE on the alto sax today. The tenor and the berry sax PPE um, is very similar. So I'm going to show you just on the alto sax, but just know that it's probably going to be really the same on the tenor and the berry as well. They're just a little bit bigger. So I have my saxophone here and I should have a bag that looks like this. Pretty big, bigger than a clarinet bag. And it's got three holes in the back. So you have one hole up here. You've got a really small one right there in the middle, if you can see it. And then you've got one down here. So three holes total. That's how you know it's an alto sax bag. And you're not going to hook up to your neck strap quite, quite yet. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, but I'm going to take my alto in one hand gently. And in my other hand, I'm going to hold the bag and put it in there. With, careful not to catch on any of the holes. And you want those holes facing towards you to the back. Put it the whole way to the bottom and don't drop it. And I'm kind of resting it on my seat here. Bring the bag up towards the top. Next step is I'm going to find um, where the hook for my neck strap is. And you kind of have to look around for it a little bit. There it is. So I'm going to hook that up so I have a little bit of a better grip. And next, you should have something towards the top that looks like this. So you're going to use that to tighten the top as much as you can. And the thing that's important about the sax is that you have your octave key right here and you have to be really, that's really fragile. So you don't want to um, clamp down on that or you don't want to pull the string down on that. So be really careful. Your goal is to get it right up here where the um, cork is. So aim, aim to be up here when you're sealing that and be very careful. So you're going to tighten it like this by pulling it. Hopefully they are even and pull it until it's as tight as you can get right around that cork at the top. And I'm kind of moving the uh, scrunching of the bag down a little bit as I'm doing this. So that's not as tight as it could be, but in a, in a perfect world, you would get it a lot tighter and it would be right around here. Okay, next step, you've got your sacks in front of you. You're gonna put your hand in those hand holes. So I'm starting with the top one and then you put it in the bottom. doesn't matter which order you really do it in. And then assuming that you have a mouthpiece on, you are ready to play. So there you go.